Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from Kelby1.com, the most awesome place to learn Lightroom. And I got a cool Lightroom tip for you. This is actually a better tip than it sounds because it's like two and a half tips in one. And it is for working in the print module with type. So the way you get type into your print is to just turn on the identity plate. That's not the tip. I'm sure you already know that. That does it. And it chooses just your name that you register the software in or whatever. But uh, you can change this type. But that's not either the tip either. Let's just go here to edit in that same panel. And you can type in, let's say I want to put Scott Kelby photography. Okay, so we have a line of type. But then I want like some returns. I, I want to be able to do returns. So there's like three spaces, three rows down, and then I'm going to put Paris Opera House, and I want to go a couple more rows down, and then put, this was taken, I think, back in June of 2016, so it's kind of old. So here's what I want to do. I, I want to move on to the next line. Well, if I hit return, which is how we would normally move to the next line, it's going to hit the OK button here, and it's, it's not going to do it. Now, a very popular way to do a, a line break is shift return, and that's not going to work either. If I hold shift and do the return, nope, nope, it just it applies it. Here's the, the first little part of this trick, because this is like two and a half tricks. The first tip is to move on to another line, even though you're going to have to kind of type in the dark, because it <laughs> this is just not a really good way to do text. But if you hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, hold that first then do a couple of returns like one two three you could write paris opera house being very careful to make sure that you typed it incorrectly then let's go option we'll do a couple more returns and then we'll go june and 20 whoops 2016 oh i think i spelled that wrong all right this is not going to be pretty but we'll click okay and you can see it did Scott Kelby Photography, Paris Opera House, June 22016. So it's it's in the future. But it's just it's not looking good and it's not you're kind of typing blind as I as you can see. And it's it's just not awesome. There's a better way to do this. And it's it's really, really simple. You're going to go and let's go to like, for example, my just the notes app on my computer, right? Just go to the notes app and format the text you want. So one of the things that I did not want is I didn't want everything left justified here. I can go in and I can choose my font and I can center things, right? So I can put in here my returns and I can center my text. So it's left justified over here in Photoshop by default, but here I can center it. So do it in some other like text application. So it doesn't has to be Apple Notes. You can use whatever you want and we're just going to copy it and check this out. Come back over to Lightroom, go here to edit, paste it, and look, it, it, it kept the font, and look, it keeps the centering and even the sizing. Oh, but there's more. Okay, now, that works pretty well. But one of the things it, it doesn't do, and this is sad, is it won't let you put space between the letters. Like, you can't really, I mean, I guess you could type the word S, space c space o space t but it won't let you track add real tracking and space between the letters but you know what's interesting if you have the creative cloud plan and i'm hoping that you you do well this is the full creative cloud plan and you have indesign adobe's page layout app not only can you use different fonts not only can you do that but you can add space between the letters you can do pretty much typographically anything you want to it get your font looking and your text and your spacing and everything just the way you want it in indesign select all copy it all right let's make sure i did copy it go over back to lightroom go in here and go to edit hit paste and it keeps look it keeps your fonts, it keeps your letter spacing, and you can even go and change, like if I wanted to make the, the word Scott Kelby Photography in the top line, if I wanted to make just that top line larger, I could select that, and let's go choose a bigger type there. And so my type got smaller here. Now, the whole thing is scalable, so we can kind of, but it made the the ratio between the top line and the other two lines smaller, but it is a way to kind of trick Lightroom into having good text by building your text in some other program and then coming back to Lightroom. Okay, so there you have it. Guys, uh, I, would, I would like to invite you. I would like to take this time 
to invite you to visit kelby1.com. So we have a little little tutorials like this. Yeah, we do. But what we're, what we really have over there is a full Lightroom education, full in-depth Lightroom courses from myself and from some of the best known names in the industry, people like Matt Glaskowski and Serge Remeli and Terry White and even like Adobe product managers that are teaching you how to learn this software and really, really know it. If you spent 2017 and you you think, you know, I got a little better in Lightroom, but I never made that really big jump that I wanted to make. I'm telling you what, you can do it over at Kelby One, and now you can do it for $9.95. You can join Kelby One for the first time ever at just $9.99 a month. So head on over to Kelby One, check it out. I think you will absolutely love it. You will learn a lot. You will have an amazing year of Lightroom learning, and you will come farther than you have <laughs> in so long, and you will. it'll be a, a great investment for you. So check it out, and also you can give it as a gift for friends. It's the holiday season and all that stuff. So go check it out at KelbyOne.com. I wish you guys a very, very happy holiday a safe, happy, and healthy new year, and we'll catch you guys next time.